Good morning, how's it going? So, uh, I just want to do a follow-up video for creating pistons, but this time using IK. Last time I did, I believe I was using point constraints, but you know, it's so many years ago, I can't quite remember at this point, to be honest. So I'm just going to start by creating my joints. So where are we here? Skeleton, create joints, put one here, one here, and I'm going to duplicate that out. And I'm just going to reroute the skeleton. So I'm going to select the end joint and I'm going to go to my skeleton, reroute, and that's just going to reverse my surface direction. So now I've got two chains. I should probably label these. So search and replace names, or we'll look for joint, and we'll call this piston. Piston, uh, well, this will be the start or the base. Underscore JNT, and this will be the um, piston end. I guess we could have called that root. This is a joint, so let me just. I'm gonna rename this one, so I'll call this one base, and I'll just call this one root, just so that it matches my naming for the uh, geometry here more sense and you know if I want to do this a bit better I could probably do this and do this one here too and same here right so one two all right so we got our, our piston joints in place we've got our geometry next thing I want to do is add in my IK handles so skeleton IK handle tool I believe I'm just using the single chain solver and I'm just going to do this here right in the outliner because I've got all these joints overlapping each other it'll be tricky to get the right ones if I just click in the viewport so to do it in the outliner you just click on the start and then you control click on the end and it just creates the IK handle I'm going to hit the G key to do it again so here and then here there we go so now I've got my two IK and I'm going to bind and bind my joints. You could just parent them or you could constrain them, but I am going to bind them. Let me see. Uh, you know what? I, I think I labeled this stuff slightly wrong here. Let me just change this around. a bit better. Let me just reorganize this a bit. There we go. So I'm going to bind these guys to this joint. So skin, just make sure when you're binding to only have it to selected joints in this case. And these guys are going to go to this joint. There we go. Did I do it? I don't think I did it. Let me see here. Nope, didn't do it. All right, let's do it again. So skin, bind skin, there we go. So if I grab uh, this joint here, that should, there we go, I should move that around. Now, IK doesn't really stay locked in place until you have a control or something to connect it to. So I'm gonna create two controls. And let me rotate these. 90 degrees. So this will be our piston for the spell. And CTL. And the freeze trans. And I just duplicate that. Freeze trans, and this will be the the root. And we should probably label the IK handles as well. So this is the end. Well, actually, this is the root, just so we're consistent. So piston root IK handle, and then this one would be the piston end. Okay. So we just take those IK handles. 
take those IK handles and you connect it into the corresponding control. So that one goes here. IK has selection priority, so I could just go over the entire object. It's only going to select uh, the IK handle. And I'm going to hit P to parent. There we go. So now I've got now I've got this stuff moving around. Now you're probably wondering, well, why isn't this all sticking together? Well, because I didn't uh, parent the uh, the joints yet. So the this joint chain goes under this control, and this joint chain goes under this control. All right. So now I've got I've got my working piston. Right. As long as I when I'm animating, you know, I, I don't go through the geometry, but you know, as a piston is, you know, it's going to be around this range, right? And that's pretty good. All right. And then what I can do is, you know, maybe just so we got our geometry group, we've got our rig group, so we got geometry, we got the rig. Let me just pair that under there, All right? So I could, if I wanted to duplicate this out, uh, right now if I move it, we get a double transformation. So this geometry group, so usually all geometry is gonna go under there. If we're binding stuff, you know, it's an easy way to keep things separate. Um, what I could do though is in that group node, turn off inherit transform. So now I can just move this all together as one object. And because of that, I can start duplicating special on this, so edit, Duplicate special, and then you know the duplicate special. So yeah, so I've on copy input graph. So this will duplicate all of my connections. So all the skinning I've done, all the IK, it duplicates everything. All right. So now I've got two, um, and you know I could keep just duplicating these out. So hit the G key. And then we can start, you know, having fun positioning this stuff. So maybe I want one over here. And maybe one over here. Okay. And we got the one up there. Sure. Why not? And then all we need to do then is take these guys and connect them into into some other, so let's say there is a, like a panel or something this is connected into over here, and then there's something over here that this one's connected into. There's a bunch of ways we could do this. Uh, what I would consider doing is just taking this stuff. If I knew this is going into a different hierarchy, like let's say there's a controller over here, or I, ideally it would go into another controller. But what I could do is not just take the controls. Uh, well, yeah, actually just take the controls. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> For some reason I thought I had something bigger set up, but I don't. So, you know, we could just parent those under, let's say there's a control that this is uh, part of here, or these guys here. This could go into the control setup over on this side here. If I could, there we go. So now we've got this going on, right? So we've got like the full on hydraulic effect going on, right? Or, you know, maybe, maybe I want to start off where these are a little bit further apart from one another. So maybe this is over here and this is over here, right? Or maybe they're a bit lower. So maybe this, these guys are down here. This guy is up here. All right, so now we're getting into some cool hydraulic configurations. So, and then whatever this, let's pretend this is a control, like a nerves control. So then we can go in and start moving these guys around. All right, and we've got like full working hydraulics. And so that works all really well. Cool. All right. Well, hopefully that was useful and um, I'm going to end the video here. Okay. Cheers.